Hello there, welcome back. In this video we're going to be taking a look at another internal aquarium filter. Now I actually bought this one. This isn't a one that somebody has sent me. And the reason I bought it is because it seems to have quite a lot of space for biological media. Now in the first episode of Pimp My Filter we had a German filter. In this episode we've got one from the Netherlands, although it is made in China. The company supplying them is in the Netherlands. And this one is a Superfish Aquaflow XL. It has an adjustable flow rate and according to the box it's suitable for aquariums between 100 and 200 litres. And let me just work out what that is in US gallons for my viewers in the US. Okay, 100 divided by 3.8 about 26 US gallons to 52 US gallons. Now like most internal aquarium filters, it hasn't got a cat in hell's chance of providing full cycle filtration for 100 to 200 litres. It will however cope with the ammonia and the nitrite. Most filters will do that. But we are really looking for a full cycle, not just half a job, a full cycle and that reduction in nitrate. So we'll take a look at this, see how it works, see if and how it can be altered and see what you think. Okay let's have a look at what's in the box. That's our filter, that is our spray bar. This is a very easy one to put together. All we do is push that into the pump outlet and that's it. I'll just take that off while I explain how this works. And this is a really, really simple filter. Water's drawn in through here, goes through a coarse foam, goes through media, into the pump, back out to the tank. And the pump is controllable from maximum flow to minimum flow. There we go. Flow 250 litres per hour to 500 litres an hour. You would divide 500 litres by 3.8 and that would give you the output in US gallons. Okay, we've basically got a two-part filter here. We've got the pump, which is attached to a large back plate, and we've got this semi-clear acrylic front which contains our foams and media. This can be lifted off, and to do that it's got a little tab here, which doesn't really seem to connect to anything, but it prevents this thing from falling off. So you just press on there, and that comes apart. You notice there's a seal there, that helps to keep it tight together. And this lever here adjusts how much the pump can suck in, and therefore how much it can blow out. Fully open mostly closed. Now the part we're really interested in is this. This is where the magic happens or where it should happen. The back just comes off like that and in here you've got two pieces of coarse foam and something called Crystal Biomax? Sorry, Crystal Max. Now that is a very very hard extremely dense media made into a ring shape and to be honest, it's a bit of a travesty. It's not very good at all. It's so fine and dense, any porosity it has is gonna get clogged up <laughs> pretty much within hours of turning this filter on. So they're really surplus to requirements as a biological media. You can see the gaps there, that's where all the water comes in, goes through the foams, through these openings here, mills around in the media, through there into our pump. Very, very simple. Let's take a look at these forms. Now, these forms are exactly the same. You notice they're rounded on one end. And each one has a hole in the middle. And in the middle of there, we've got carbon. So really, in essence, what we're provided with here is mechanical, chemical, and biological filtration. 
And in this episode, using this filter, we're not going to be drilling any holes or altering this in any way. Well, at least not altering this particular structure in any way. We are, however, going to put something in here that's very useful. Now we're going to start with this section where the forms were. We're going to put forms in there, but ours are going to be ones that we've cut from pond forms. Pond forms are really cheap, very, very good. And they're available in a wide range of porosity. So we've got the black one, which isn't very dense. That one is a coarse form. And then we've got the blue one, which is a more medium grade form. These actually fit together quite well. That allows that to fit in there. So now our water is going to come in, coarse, medium, then into this chamber. And when we want to clean this out, when it becomes really clogged, we simply take that apart and it cleans really, really well. That leaves us one section, or possibly two sections, this one is obviously going to be for our biological media. That's what the water hits last. And this one here, which would ordinarily just be a void, is going to be filled with those. That is Eheim Mech. It's an extremely hard mechanical filtration. This would be the first stage of your filtration where the water would hit. Hopefully the, it would diffuse the flow. Heavy muck would settle out in here and save your foams a little bit. It does have a slight biological sort of activity as well, but not much. Primarily used for mechanical filtration. So we're going to fill this gap up here with that. And because it's quite open and it's going to be put in here loosely, it will not slow the flow down coming through the filter. That fits in there very, very well. And in this section, we're going to get as much media in here as we possibly can. Because remember, most internal filters have very, very little space for good media. So in there, I've got a little mesh bag and it's pretty much crammed full of bio gravel. This is a porous gravel made from the same material as bio home. Um, it's a really unique product. It just allows you to max out very small filters. And there's approximately 400 grams in there. Now we do have a little space in the top of here available, probably about half an inch, which is about 12 millimeters or just over one centimeter. And into that, we're gonna put a reasonably thin fine pad. So that goes in there. So now we've got primary settlement, coarse foam, medium foam, Fine pad, biological media. And we've got a hell of a lot more stuff in there than we did have originally. Look at that. Drop that back onto there. One maxed out filter. Here's what we did have in the filter. Here's what we have now in the filter. It's a hell of a difference. Now I'll put a link to this in the video description if you're interested in buying one of these. And I think this one, when I bought it last year, was somewhere between 25 and 30 English pounds. But before I put this one away, I just want to make a note about some of the reviews that you might see of this particular filter online, saying that it's noisy. The design of it, can trap air in where the impeller is. So when you put it back in your tank, tip it upside down, move it around to make sure that all of the air is out of it. Then when you switch it on, it'll be a lot quieter. And in a future video, I'm gonna be giving this one away, so watch out for that. Let me know what you think about this upgrade. Give it a thumbs up if you've liked the video. Share the video wherever you want. And thanks very much for watching. I shall see you next time.